Good morning, everyone. It's Roberta with Happy on the Home Front. It's after Christmas, but not quite 2019. And today I have for you a freezer dessert. This is a great dessert that you can prepare ahead of time and bake or go ahead and wrap up and put in the freezer, thaw and bake the day that you need it. You can also take this recipe and make freezer dessert kits. This recipe is from a lady named Natalie on tasteslovely.com and it's her easiest triple berry crumble made with frozen fruit. I, right here, what I have is I have my um, gallon freezer bag of blueberries and raspberries already measured out. Her recipe calls for four cups. I usually do a little bit more than that because the raspberries particularly do cook down quite a bit. So you can put a couple extra cups of fruit in there. And then also I have my bag of the crumble topping already pre-made and this has been in the freezer. And then I put on here a note about the, um, the temperature that you need to bake it at and the time you need to bake it at. And I always put um, a plus beside my minutes when things have been frozen because if they're not completely room temperature, you may need a little bit longer time or it depends on the thickness of your baking dish. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this nine inch um, pie dish. Um, you know, it's like a casserole type. So I'm gonna be using that. And um, so we're gonna get started. Okay, so um, I've got my fruit here and this is um, five cups of fruit. So I'm gonna pour that into my bowl and you can let the juices come in too. I have not added any liquid or anything to this. And so you can see that. And in the bottom of the bowl, I have the other ingredients. I have three tablespoons of regular granulated white sugar. I have three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. The zest from one lemon, which is now bald, have a bald lemon, and a pinch of salt. So I've got that all in there, and I am going to uh, stir that up and mix that thoroughly. Um, and this is really an easy, easy recipe. You're just going to stir all that up and combine it. And as you know, a little bit of flour will help the fruit thicken to a um, crisp or crumble consistency. It's not going to slice like a really... Um, congealed pie, but you're gonna, you know, serve this with a spoon and probably in a bowl uh, with some nice uh, vanilla ice cream or some whipped cream, some fresh whipped cream. So I'm gonna get all of that out of there. Okay, so there's my bowl, and I'm just gonna kind of um, smooth out this fruit to kind of make sure I've got a nice surface for my crumble, okay? So here that is. It's about three quarters of an inch from the top, okay? Now I'm gonna take my crumble, which has been previously frozen, and that consists of half a cup of brown sugar, six tablespoons of flour, and a whole stick of butter. Um, and you do use cold butter, and then you just combine all of that with a fork or a pastry blender, um, um, and um, it also calls for uh, one cup of old-fashioned oats. Um, I actually have in here quick oats because that's what I had on hand at the time. So a cup of oats, a half a cup of brown sugar, six tablespoons of flour, and a whole stick of cold butter blended until it's like a coarse crumb mixture. And you can go ahead and put this in the oven now, or like I said, you can go ahead and assemble your crumble, wrap it up tight in layers of saran wrap, and then put it inside one of these really, really large um, hefty jumbo bags, or um, a Ziploc also makes one that I think is um, possibly a gallon and a half. You can put that in there, put it in the freezer. Or you can do what I did with um, two bags and make what I call fruit crisp or berry crisp kits. So you would have um, a bag of your topping crumbly mixture and then a bag of your pre-measured fruit. 
and then you would just put those in a bag like this. And then when you need a quick dessert or you're supposed to take something to church or a family gathering or you know someone who just had a baby or who's been sick or who's lost a loved one and you want to take over something homemade, there you have it. You can just get it in your pan and stick it in the oven on 350 middle position um, and it does say that it will take an hour to cook so I plan on more than that and then it says you will kind of want to let it sit and cool for an hour so that the the berries kind of um, cool off and firm firm up the, the filling firms up and it's not just running all over the place when you serve it um, so there you have it and so I hope this has helped you and inspired you to have a yummy delicious fruity dessert and to serve your family well. So Merry Christmas.